Good morning, Blue Maths Group. Okay, so today we have our number square on the screen again, and we're going to start by practicing our counting in tens. Now, we're really good at this now, so this should be really, really fast. Are you ready? We're going to start from 10. Off we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Wow, now, can we do it backwards? We tried this yesterday, so let's see if we can count backwards. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. As we remember, all that's happening is our tens are going down by one each time, aren't they? Well done. Okay, let's have a look at something else we did yesterday as well. We looked at filling in gaps, didn't we? So let's see if we can fill the gaps in in this line. So these aren't counted in regular tens because if we look, all our numbers end in four, don't they? So let's start from 14. What will be the number after 14? Yes, if we're counting in tens, it would be 24, wouldn't it? So 14, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84. Now, there's one number missing here. Now, this is going backwards, so this is getting smaller by 10, isn't it? What number's missing here? So we go 24, 14. If we take the tens down by one, that means we don't have any, doesn't it? So the answer is four. Did you get that right? Well done if you did. Right, let's have a look at what we're going to do today. So today on the screen, you can see I have got groups of the deans, so our little one deans, I've grouped them into groups of two. So we've discovered how really, really helpful it is to know how to count in tens. And it's also quite helpful to be able to count in twos. So now that we've managed to solve the problem of counting in tens, we're going to start practicing counting in twos. So let's have a look. If we were to count these normally, we'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It takes quite a long time. And if you had lots of them, that would take even longer. So counting in twos can be a bit quicker. So let's have a think about what happens when we count in twos. Well, when we count in twos, we don't say the one, we say two. We don't say the three, we say four. We don't say five, we say six. We don't say, we say eight. We don't say, we say 10. We don't say, we say 12. So basically when we count in twos, we skip a number. We say every other number. Let's have a look at our number square and see if we can see how that works. Okay, so here's our number square. And so we've just said, we know we don't say a number and then we do say a number. So let's have a look and see if we can see what that looks like. So if we're counting in twos, we don't say one, we say two. We don't say three, we say four. We don't say five, we say six. We don't say seven, we say eight. We don't say nine, we say 10. On to the next line. We don't say 11, we say 12. We don't say 13, we say 14. We don't say 15, we say 16. We don't say the next number, we say 18. We don't say the next number, we say 20. Can you see a pattern emerging with what we're doing here? What's the pattern? Can you spot it? Yes, I'm crossing out a row and leaving a row. Crossing out a row and leaving a row. So when we are counting in, in twos, we say two, four, six, eight, ten. Then we say 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Now, I imagine you can see that this is going to carry on down. So we say 22. 24, 26, 28, 30. So can you see the pattern on our number square? We're just skipping a row. We say the second number, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Now, when we count in twos, it's quite special because we only say one type of number. 
So I'm going to show you this at the bottom. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to lift it up a little bit so you can see it all. And it's a little rhyme and it says 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, even numbers, they are great. Can you try and say that for me? 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, even numbers, they are great. Every number that we say when we count in twos from zero is an even number. That means the number has to end with a zero in the ones column, a two in the ones column, a four, a six, or an eight in the ones column. No other number, so we can't have any ones, threes, fives, sevens, or nines in our ones column, or we're not counting in twos from zero. Okay, so have a look. Let's check. No, I'm crossing out all the ones. I'm crossing out all the threes, the fives, the sevens, and the nines. And I'm only saying the numbers that end in two, four, six, eight, or zero. So if you can try and remember that little rhyme in your head, it will help you when you're counting in twos. So zero, two, four, six, eight, even numbers, they are great. Zero, two, four, six, eight, even numbers, they are great. Okay, so today I have sent you one of these number squares for you to do some colouring in so that you can colour in your number square in twos, so counting in twos, okay? So later on when we look at the tasks, one of your tasks is going to be to colour in your number square so that you can find the numbers that you would say if you were counting in two, starting from two, four, six, eight, okay? Let's have a look and see what else we might have to do today then. So, hmm. I've got some pictures of some feet on the screen. And obviously they're grouped in twos because we've got two feet, haven't we? So we've got our left and our right foot, our left and our right foot, our left and our right foot. Now we could go one, two, but oh my word, isn't that slow? We need to be able to count faster. <clears throat> so we need to be able to count in twos. So at the bottom of the screen, I've put our number line and I've coloured in the ones that we can't say so that we know just to say every other skipper number and say every other number. So ready? Let's see if we can count how many feet we've got on screen. So this group is two. This group is another two. And this group is another two. So we've got two, four, six. We've got six feet. So our answer is six. Did you get that? Let's have a look at the next one. Oh, so this time we've got pairs of shoes. Now the word pair means two. So if we have a pair, we have two. So pairs of shoes or pairs of boots, they look like, don't they? How are we going to do it? We're going to count and skip every other number. We're going to count in twos. So let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five groups of two. So we're gonna to have to go, watch the, watch the square for me, two, four, six, eight, ten. Remember, we don't say the second as we go two, we say three, we say four, we don't say five, we say six, we don't say seven, we say eight, we don't say nine, we say ten. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten. So our answer is we have got ten boots. There we go. Let's have a look at the next one. Oh, so this one, we have pairs of balloons. So each group has got two balloons. Now, I'm going to be quiet for a moment. I'm going to see if you can count the number of balloons. Have a go. Okay, if you were counting in twos, that should have been long enough. So shall we try together? So remember, we say every other number. So let's have a go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So we've got twenty balloons. So we just write our twenty in here. Twenty balloons. How did you do with that one? Now it's going to take a while to get used to counting in twos. Remember, you skip a number. So when you're thinking, think, oh, I can't say that one because that's that's not the right number. I need to jump on one and say another number. And practice with your number square. So once you've coloured it in, practice so that you get better and better at counting in twos. Right, let's have a look at our tasks then for today. 
So I'm going to vanish off screen so that you can have a look at the task fully. So you've got two things to do today. The first is that number square that I've sent home. I'd like you to colour it in so that you know which numbers you need to say when you're counting in twos. So colour in the two, colour in the four, colour in the six, colour in the eight, colour in the ten, and then follow the lines down. That will help you to learn your counting in twos. Then the next thing you've got is another sheet that I've sent you, or you can do it off screen if you prefer. And it's got pictures of pairs of mittens, pairs of shoes and pairs of socks. So all of these things come in groups of two, don't they? Can you see they're all in groups of two? So I'd like you to count them, but obviously I don't want you to count them one, two, three, four, five. I want you to count them as pairs. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Have a go, see how you do. Remember, you have got your number square, so you can use that to help you, but we need to start remembering that pattern. And remember that lovely little phrase, zero, two, four, six, eight, even numbers, they are great. Have a go, see how you get on, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.